You deserve a round of applause. So one big round of applause for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Clap hands and cheers two things. You'll be off your phone and also you'll wake up the other guy who's sleeping. Okay? Good evening, good evening. Uh, uh, I find this uh, very, very amusing. This whole setup is very amusing. And of course, a round of applause for Dr. Ferdows for his speech. Come on, round of applause for Dr. Ferdows for his speech. Let failure inspire you. Let failure inspire you. And then up comes a stand-up comedian. I am that failure, okay? <laughs> I am that failure. And uh, yes, uh, what, what Tess uh, mentioned just now, I'm, I was, uh, last year I was one of the writers for all my English. That's right, one of the writers for all my English. I wrote all the broken English parts, yeah? That's, that's all me, that's all me. And uh, I'm glad to, to, to come here to UM because I stand here today as, a, as an inspiration that you can do nothing at all and still you can enter UM. Okay? <laughs> and I want to be a fan of UM, yes, I want to be a fan of UM. I have a lot of respect for UM because I'm actually married to a former UM student, ladies and gentlemen. And this is Sigma going on that uh, apparently, you know, as compared to students from private universities, UF students are more stupid people. But definitely not that. I mean, you know, I'm married, I'm married to a UF student. But uh, you must not forget that she's the one who chose to be with a comedian. I'm so <laughs> 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 I love you. I love you very much. The uh, reason is uh, because if I stand here, you have to be wet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you gotta be very open when I start talking uh, because it's, it's almost like you know, a stand up comedy show. This is what I do when I tell people who are uncomfortable coming to a stand up comedy show. Just, uh, just, just for just, just a quick, uh, I don't know, for, for something to make the case you guess. But who would listen to a live stand up comedy show with some noise? Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming, thank you for supporting, yeah, thank you for the car. Thank you for the wife. Thank you for my master's degree. Okay? Yes, uh, so, well, uh, for those people who are uncomfortable in the comedy show, this is always what I, what I tell them, okay? Okay, uh, stand-up comedy show is actually, you know, it's just like sex. Yeah, because I'm going to start asking you questions. Are you okay? Yeah. How's it going down there? Are you falling asleep? Nothing's there, yeah. And, and just like sex, the more people participate, one room, the better, huh? huh? And just like sex, uh, if you do feel that very, very boring and unfunny, uh, just make it just like sex, you fake it, uh. okay? It's gonna be like, I don't know, 10 minutes of faking, yeah. <laughs> But I'm not here to tell you about, you know, what I do and this and that. Uh, I'm here because I want to show you that you, everyone here, have the capability of becoming a stand-up comedian. I'm here to share with you what goes on in the brain of a stand-up comedian. And with that, I'm going to use a special sort of slide, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, uh, I'm so concentrated in trying to figure out how to explain to you how to become a stand-up comedian. I didn't have time for slides. And in place of really, really good slides, I have the wonderful Tasha here. She's my android for the day. Okay, now it's very, very uh, simple. Uh, if you, if I'll try to break it down. I'm very, very nerdy here right now, okay? This part is the unfunny part. Okay, <laughs> you're trying to pay attention. It's the funny part. It's very theoretical, full of formulas. But after that, I challenge you, we will come up with five jokes that only UM students can understand. <laughs> five jokes. No, 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 five jokes that only you can understand and bring home. You cannot tell anyone, hey, mommy, I, I got a joke. And then man, I have to go here first. Okay, that's sort of a simple thing. Okay, okay, now, very simple. Let's start off with one of the world's most popular jokes. Please, uh, Tasha, please, please try. Uh, can you reach the top? Can I? <laughs> Thank you, huh? World's most popular joke, uh, I think Tasha knows is it. Why, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? What's the answer? And apparently it's very funny to get to the other side. I personally don't feel this uh, joke is funny, la. okay? But that uh, is the world's most popular joke, okay? Okay. But if uh, if you you you've heard this joke before and you're wondering why it's the world's most popular, well, because you didn't read books, long, okay? <laughs> okay. So why did the chicken cross the road, right? And now we go on to analyze this joke, okay? Why is it a joke? Now we start off with uh, continue to write up this thank you. We started with the definition of a joke, with my favorite definition of a joke, of a joke. Definition, I mean, what, 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 what was a joke? What, what does it mean, okay? Basically, it's uh, the disagreement, disagreement between two or more general ideas. This 
disagreement or the incongruity between two or more general ideas. It's very boring. It's very boring, okay? Why is there an in incongruity? Why is there a disagreement here? Because we start off by saying, hey, want to hear a joke? And, you, and, and when people, if you're, if you're not close enough, please, please come and sit down. Uh. Actually, those are from government schools, right? You can do sealer here, okay? <laughs> okay? Now, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? You, you start with, hey, want to hear a joke? Okay? Why did the chicken cross the road? Now, there's a disagreement here. Wow, that's a simple question. But because it's a joke, your brain goes on overdrive. I need to say something funny other than uh, uh, you want to say, I want to say, uh, and then the joke is to get to the other side. Why oh, are you so stupid? <laughs> so, that's it, man. So, there is the disagreement there. Okay, there's a disagreement between two general ideas. The general idea is this is a joke, and then after that, the general idea is hey, it's actually very simple. These are two general ideas. And we move on, we move on, and we move on. Now, we move on to the structure of jokes. Structure of jokes, okay? So structure of jokes, just put struct, uh, short form, struct, okay? It's uh, five, five parts, uh, we, can, we can break down jokes in five parts. Topic, premise, setup, twist, punch, okay? Topic, premise, setup, it's punch. Oh, you always waste so much space, never mind. Uh, okay, see, so the topic is basically chicken, uh, right? Uh, Premise, premise is the chicken crossing the road, right? Uh, set up, the setup is you have to tell them, hey, want to hear a joke? Okay, that is the setup, right? The twist is this is actually not a joke. This is actually a full review of the statement, and then there's the punch off. <laughs> because the fellow punch you, it's not funny. Okay, that's the punch. Okay, that's how that's how we 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 pick it up. Okay, but now we we, we draw a line here. Okay, we have to look into the trajectory of a joke. Jokes have directions, one. Okay. Direction, very really, really simple, trajectory of a joke. I don't know how to spell trajectory, but you can just, uh, okay. It's usually uh, from normal slash good, normal slash good, then you put arrow, normal slash good to bad, okay? Or from bad to worse. That is the normal trajectory of a joke. I can challenge you now uh, and to, just to prove this, okay? All right, now let's say the subject matter is Malaysia. And I will, I will say something like, Malaysia is the best. You, you cannot deny that. Malaysia is the best. You cannot deny that, right? But, but, but uh, because of the trajectory of joke, right? I can challenge you now, you cannot create a joke about Malaysia using this statement. Malaysia is the best because without bringing down the subject matter, which is Malaysia. I can challenge you right now, okay? Yeah, I'll give my emails after this, you know, if four years later you find a joke, you let me know, okay? You cannot, you cannot create a joke that is upwards. You only can go downwards, from normal to bad, from bad to worse, okay? So the chicken here, you know, it's a normal chicken, but decides to cross the road, okay? So the chicken's, uh, I don't know, uh, a safety from normal to bad, okay? And why worse? Because right here, and I think 70% of the world, uh, people in the world don't know this. To get to the other side, you have to cross to the other side. <laughs> Same thing, okay? To get to the other side. Now, if you focus on the word the other side, it also means death. So there, there are actually two meanings here. <gasps> wow, so smart, man. <laughs> two meanings. Wow, twist, twist. Oh, you. Okay, but still you get the punch because most people understand. Okay, okay, so, so it's right there. So, it's now normal to bad, and because you get to the other side and you found out that the other side means death, bad to worse. Now that is the trajectory of the joke, ladies and gentlemen. And also, let me tell you one more thing that has to do with joke. Jokes are... I, I like painful jokes. I like jokes that really hit you and say, like, oh my god, this is such a good joke, but it's so painful. It's because uh, jokes uh, have a modicum of truth. And why modicum of truth? Because, because these are all general ideas that is brewing up in your, in your mind. These general ideas are the truths that you come to accept in life. And that's why the most painful of jokes are the most truthful and those are the best jokes. Okay? And it's all actually here. It's all actually here. Uh, general ideas. So how do we even come to creating the joke? We need two general ideas only. Two general ideas. What is general here? I, I'll say it now. What is general here? What is... What, what links everyone here? UN. 
Okay, please put UN. Please put UN. Okay. Now we're gonna start coming out with jokes, okay? You have to be very, very open. I ask you a question, you answer, okay? Like like a very, very dutiful student, okay? Very simple. Uh, uh, now, to get the second general idea, I need to collect all the general ideas here that you have in your mind right now. You don't need to think of anything. Just close your eyes and think of this question. What is the first thing that comes to mind when I mention you M to you? All right? We start with this gentleman right here holding the big bottle. You M. What comes to mind, sir? Yes, sir. Think about the okay, next. <laughs> Okay, okay, college. College. Yo? College. Yeah. College. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, that's very. Uh, yeah. No, no, this is very, very general too. You said. Faculties, why? Because it's full of faculties. Very factual. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a house. <laughs> uh, what, you, what about you, uh, Miss? Um, First thing that comes to mind when I see you, eh? Right? Sorry? Brainiac students. Brainiac students. So very, very smart students. Huh? Huh? Okay, cool. Thank you. Next one. Um, literature. Literature? Yeah. Wow, this culture here. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> literature. Literature is more late. And then you, miss? Uh, you are, miss. Behind your own eye, you know. <laughs> Study. Yeah, very general. <laughs> we come to you need to study. He <laughs> he. <laughs> Sorry? Ranking. ranking. Why ranking? Because you're the top. You're the top, right? You're the top, huh? Okay. Put their ranking top 50 in though. <laughs> okay. Uh, next. <laughs> Sorry? Shopping mall. Because other side got water, ma. Other side got flooding problems also, right? Why did the UM student 
across the road because if they stand here, the flood will come. <laughs> All right? And uh, why did you student cross the road? Uh, this is the fifth joke. Uh, because that site is haunted world. <laughs> That's it. Done. This is how you create jokes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope to see you in, uh, at, a, at, a, at a comedy club near us on stage telling jokes, ladies and gentlemen. Picture. You can take all this back. Uh, no taking notes, huh? Okay? <laughs> And, uh, and convert them into jokes, alright? Thank you so much, thank you for your time. One more round of applause for the guys who survived Thank you so much, thank you, host.